vector multiplication, which is called the vector product, or also called, most of the time I refer to it as the cross product. The cross product is written like so, A cross B equals C. It's a cross, very clear cross. And I will tell you how I remember, that is method number one, I'm going to teach you just like with the dot product two methods, I will tell you method number one, which is the one that always works, it's time consuming, but it always works. You write down here a matrix with three rows. The first row is X roof, Y roof, Z roof. The second one is A of X, A of Y, A of Z. It's important if A is here first, that that second row must be A. And the third row is then B. B of X, B of Y, B of Z. So these six are numbers, and these are the unit vectors. I repeat this here verbatim. You'll see in a minute why I need that. And I will do the same here. Okay, and now comes the recipe. You take, you go from the upper left-hand corner to the one in this direction. You multiply them all three, and that's a plus sign. So you get AY, so C, which is the cross, A cross B, equals AY times BZ times the X roof. But I'm not going to put the X roof in yet, because I have to subtract this one, minus sign, which has AZBY. So it is minus AZBY, and that is in the direction X. The next one is this one, AZBX. minus this one, AXBZ, in the direction Y. And last but not least, AXBY, minus AYBX. in the direction of the unit vector Z. So this part here is what we call C of X. It's the X component of this vector. And this we can call C of Y, and this we can call C of Z. So you can also write that vector then that C equals C of X, X roof, plus C of Y, Y roof, plus C of Z, Z roof. Cross product of A and B.